Hyun Lee from North Korea. Today I'm here with Martin again, the famous journalist and the North Korean analyst, to talk about North Korean animations and the foreign animations broadcast in North Korea. Hi, Martin. Hi. I'm I'm hoping you can teach me a bit about this because this is <laughs> this is interesting. In my office, I have a TV and uh, a big satellite dish, and I can get North Korean TV. And I see a lot of animation on there. It's quite mm -hmm. popular in the uh, sort of after 5, 5 p.m., the sort of kids hour that's on right. TV often has animation. And there are a few series that seem to seem to come on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I see com com common animation. So what, what can you tell me about these popular North Korean animation series? Um, it is really, really popular among the whole North Koreans and especially for my generation who grew up with those animations. So um, there are three the popular ones. One is the named Scroll and Hedgehog. And the second one is Boy Hero. And the third one is Smart Raccoon. And the interesting thing about the Scroll and Hedgehog is that it is about the enemies. Okay. Fighting, fighting with the enemies. So there's a scroll and the hedgehog represents North Korea and the wolf represents America. And then the ma rats are represents South Korea. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, wolf, so, wolf is popular, popularly used in North Korean propaganda art as well to represent the United States. Right. American servicemen are often shown as wolves. Right, and things right. Like that. I don't know the reason why. Have you heard the reason why? I mean, I guess because wolves are scary or something. I, I don't know the reason why. <laughs> that is about the uh, North Korean animations, but, and then... So there's there's a moral to the animation then. When mm -hmm. people are watching, it's not just, uh, you know, you're not just watching animation to, to laugh. It's not a comedy thing. No, there's no. there's a message behind it. Of course. And that's even going to, I mean, the, there are kids who are mm -hmm. five or six or right. eight or 10 years old watching these animations and that message is being given to them. Right, so this is the part of the brainwashing education. So it starts from very old age of North Korean people, even the animations that which is supposed to serve the entertainment purpose, still have the message and then tell them to. Um, so they grow up in a set mind that, okay, we have enemies. That is USA, South Korea and Japan. Do you remember watching them when you were a kid? Yes, yes. What was your favorite? Which one? My favorite was um, Smart Raccoon. Smart Raccoon. I it talk a lot more about those like informations and the knowledges about the daily life, and then some of them are actually from the books. So it is really helpful for um, students who have the education at the schools. So, so that I think that's why I like it uh, the most. But most the guys um, like the. Boy Hero and then Scroll and the Hedgehog since it has more action toward animation. That, but that's quite important as well. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we were talking about the the message um, and uh, the the cartoon being anti-American, but sometimes the message is just purely education as well. It's teaching kids how right. to act or how to cross the road or mm -hmm. how to how to live in society, and it, so it's it's not always an evil message, but it is. There's always a message behind this stuff. Right. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Um, the animation's pretty good quality as well. I've been watching. I mean, the the animators there are quite good, and I, I think a few years ago, before you know sanctions and everything, um, animation was one of the industries that North Korea was trying to promote as an outsourcing industry, where right. it would animate um, uh, uh, things for foreign mm -hmm. companies. As I know, that company, the Four Twenty Six, that uh, animation company, they makes a lot of money for that outsourcing. They're really mm -hmm. famous, right? The right. April really 26th animation company. Right. Why is it called April 26th? We call it 426. And why 426? Why not 427 or why not 326? Uh, yeah. Because I believe that's the date when Kim Jong Il or Kim Il Sung visit the comp uh, that animation company. And that's quite common in North Korea, right? You yeah. see a lot of companies or monuments or places and you see this number in their mm -hmm. name and the number refers to mm -hmm. the date when one of the leaders came there or a particular holiday or celebration or something. Right, right. They are God figures in North Korea. So like every step they had and then every words they said is a big deal. Yeah. Um, 
so we see this th mm -hmm. this stuff on on television. It's still on today. Um, what other um, animations did you have access to? I mean, did you? You mean officially or unofficially? Ah, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> what about uh, well? What about officially? What other what other stuff did before we get onto the unofficial stuff? What did you have access to officially? So, I guess probably most of the audience, some of the audience know that like there are different channels in North Korea. Total three back then and now it's four. But only in Pyongyang though. Yeah, in yeah. Pyongyang, All as I know. Yeah. yeah, only in Pyongyang. So, and then there is one channel called Mansu Da TV and they start the broadcast starting from um, 5 p.m. back in the days. And then they broadcast some kind of like foreign animations like Tom and Jerry. No way. But like we love it, especially my nephews at home, they love it. And then, oh, I've watched the um, Disney animations officially. Really? Like, yes. Like Cinderella and then, what else? The Robin Hood. Okay. Uh -huh. these, and then, these were on TV or? Yes. Yes. And then they even sells, uh, sells the um, CDs of that, those foreign Disney animations. Oh, okay. Um, so some, yes, yeah, some foreign, we, we often, when we think about mm -hmm. foreign movies mm -hmm. or TV shows or things in North Korea, usually it's in the, uh, the, the concept of them being illegally smuggled right. in, but, but some of them are officially approved. Yeah, some of them are officially approved and especially those like Disney animations. Um, all right, so that's the official stuff. It is official stuff. Which, <laughs> anything else? Um, then I can talk about the illegal stuff. Okay, um, yeah. So what illegal stuff did you watch? Um, I think the first foreign animation I watched it was Flintstones. The Flintstones? <laughs> yes. And I don't know if you guys know that the Flintstones actually the educational material for the um, Pyongyang foreign language students. Really? Yes. So they cannot take that to home to watch it, but at least they can officially watch it at schools after the classes. Oh, wow. And that's mm -hmm. in English because it's, it's the foreign in English, language school. Right, right. They proved that to um, allow the students to learn English. That's why. Was the video material, mm -hmm. uh, because you went, you, you studied English, mm -hmm. um, English so my or first Chinese? Major, my first major was English. So I learned my English with the British, uh, uh, British accent uh, that's for why you one what I'm year. Um, yes. And then I switched my major to Chinese, Chinese later. And that was at the, what school was that at? Um, Pyongyang Foreign Language School. Um, actually, it, the, it is kind of a special school. So the buildings are, are um, just next to the foreign studies of University Pyongyang. Okay. Yeah. And, and so the video material that was available mm -hmm. at the school, was it mostly animation? I, I'm thinking, you know, the Flintstones and Disney, they're very safe animations. There's mm -hmm. no... There's no, there's no violence in them. Right. There's no me big message in them. Mm -hmm. um, so I can see how that stuff would get approved easily. Was was there a lot? Was it mostly animation or what other types no, of things? No, there are also also many uh, those movies. Okay. So for example, like Home Alone. <laughs> wow. Okay. I watched it Home Alone. So Home Alone is my first foreign movie. Wow. Yeah. Before the South Korean dramas and those movies, actually, um, as I know, at least in Pyongyang. Uh, people watch it, Hollywood movies, and then, yeah, songs, more than that. Uh, and then, well, but, but back to, mm -hmm. but that's yes. fascinating, but back to animation, <laughs> which is which is what we're meant to be talking about. Um, was there, when you were there, was there any, you know, you said the um, Flintstones was kind of illegal because you took it home, <laughs> um, but it was still approved because it was a university. Right. Was... Was there much animation you remember that, that was sort of on sale illegally at the markets or things like that? I'm not quite sure because I was young at the time and then I was told by my parents always that um, never take the risk to put your life and entire life in threaten. So I was being really, really careful. Okay, who was your favorite Flintstones character? Um, the mom. The mom? Yeah. Uh, Wilma? I, I, 
yeah, real mom. In English, in I English. guess. I, what were they? Yeah, what were they? Do you remember what the Flintstones were called in Korean in in North Korea? What was? I don't quite remember. It, it, Fred, since Fred it's a long time ago, okay. I only um, remember the images. Well, this is this is uh, uh, fascinating because mm -hmm. you know I think the North Korean animation is is relatively well known amongst people that mm -hmm. follow North Korea, but. Um, less is less is known about the sort of foreign animation that's officially approved in the country. Right. Uh, yes, I noticed that many people don't know, really know that like North Korean people can officially watch the Disney animations. Yeah, but maybe not The Simpsons. Simpsons. Maybe that's too much. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I, think, <laughs> I think it probably is. Uh, well, thank you for telling me about animation. Um, of course. I think next time I want to ask you about. Home Alone and some of the foreign movies. Sure, I would love to animation. talk about it. All right, thanks yeah. very much. See you next time.